back at it again. Today we're gonna to be talking about five simple steps on how you can become a badass. Nerf this. So before I jump right into number one, I just wanna say thanks for watching. Please make sure you smash that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications because I do release videos every Monday to get your week going and every Friday to get your weekend started. I also do release bonus videos at random and you don't want to miss them. So being a badass, you want to be known as the authority when you walk into the room. You want to be having all the eyes on you. When you walk in, people know there go a badass right there. I just want to say being a badass doesn't mean you have to be a bad person or a villain. My first example on badasses would be The Rock. Now there's no denying that The Rock is a total badass, number one, but number two, he doesn't come across to me as a bad person. He actually comes across as a very nice, caring, and giving person. But number one is to develop the badass mindset. How do we do this? First, we have to think of situations that have occurred where we've backed down or allowed ourselves to become the quote-unquote doormat when people have walked all over us. So it's really up to you to become self-aware and accept the reality that you are not yet a badass. Once you come to terms to that, it's as simple as making a decision. Next time something happens where I was skittish or I was passive, I will be more dominant, more aggressive, and decide to really take control of that situation. Because when you take control and you accept that everything in life is a result of a direct decision that you've made, nothing can be out of your control. So that's number one. You gotta develop that badass mindset, become self-aware that you are not yet a badass, and decide. Today is the day that I am going to start being a badass. So right now, I gotta head to the city where it's on. I have to handle a couple of appointments, but first I'm gonna stop by Millie's work, have lunch with her, and then we're off to the races. In our natural habitat. <laughs> so we're talking about how to be a badass. What's your best tip on being a badass? Sorry, I know I caught you mid-chew. Mm -hmm. Um... Not care what other people think. And do whatever you want to do. So there's a little bonus tip for you. It's a good one. Thank you. Don't let me. What? <laughs> So the second tip on becoming a badass is to get outside of your comfort zone. See the difference between someone who's a badass and someone who's not, they're both nervous to step outside of doing something that's comfortable, but the badass sees this and realizes, I gotta do it anyway. So even though the badass may be scared, he's still gonna get outside of that comfort zone and do what he's gotta do, or she's gotta do. So, I gotta head inside, get some paperwork done, and I'll check in with you after. So I was gonna wait till after I was done with all my emails and paperwork to give you number three, but I'm feeling generous, so I'm gonna do it right now. Tip number three is to take care of yourself. You need to get into healthy habits, healthy eating, healthy diet. I'm gonna go back to the example of The Rock. Not only is he a badass, not only is he a nice guy, but his body is next level. He is insanely in shape. And if you look at another badass, who I'm gonna use as a reference for hitting the gym and getting their diet and exercise right, Jason Momoa, no denying that dude's a badass. And look at him, he hits the weights, he's got his swole on. 
So even though I've already finished my workout for the day, I do work out almost every day. I may take one rest day during the week, like complete rest day. Right now, my current workout routine is a full body. So I'll go to the gym and I'll lift. I'll do a full body workout. The next day I'll do cardio. But just look at any badass, and I'll even go back to my old school people. You got Vin Diesel, right from the original Fast and the Furious. Dude was swole, he's a badass. Takes care of his body. So there's no denying the examples are there. Get your diet and exercise right. Hit the gym, get that swell on, and let's go. So I'm gonna finish up doing this, and then after that, I'm gonna head to an appointment. There, I will give you the fourth tip on how to be a badass. You have reached the voicemail box of 781. all that and they canceled. I waited for them for like an hour. Man, that's the way she goes. <laughs> so I uh, just wanted to give you a heads up also. I uh, just wanted to let you know, I think I'm gonna stop by the networking event, but give me a call back. Love you, bye. That's the way she goes sometimes. I waited for an hour for this appointment. And I got stood up. But hey, you know what? I get up, dust myself off because I'm a badass. And it's on to the next one. Thank you, next. As Ariana would say. Speaking of next, I'm going to give you the fourth tip right now since we're in a prime location. So the fourth tip is to surround yourself with other badasses. You need to surround yourself with the people that you want to be like. So anyone you admire, you want to try and get close to. So if you're in a circle of five little wimpy, passive people who aren't forcing you to level up, chances are you're going to be the sixth one. So you need to change the five people you hang around to most to badasses or people who have badass qualities. So if you can find yourself four people that mirror The Rock or Jason Momoa or any other person you would consider a badass, that's what you need to do. So surround yourself with those on the same mission as you who force you to level up, force you to grow, and you'll be golden. So like I said to Lily, I am going to head over to a networking event in the North End. The Bruins are playing tonight. I don't know how traffic's going to be. I'm already late to it. I didn't think I was going to go, but you know what? Let's get rolling. Pizza games, pumpkins. I oh know, it's bomb. Look at that. Homemade by Chef Louie. Mm -hmm. With the curly hair. She hates that her hair is super curly, but I love it. And as you can see, I did not go to the networking meeting, and that's a perfect segue to the fifth and final point, which I'll get to right after I eat this pizza. That is about to die. I totally forgot about that. Mmm. 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 All right, so it's currently the next morning. That pizza was in fuego. Disregard my phone going off. But this leads me to my fifth and final tip, which is to learn how to say no, and this was the hardest part for me to actually achieve, and I still admittedly struggle with it. I didn't want to go to that networking event. I had no obligation to go there. So what did I do? I simply said no. It's different if you have an obligation to a job, or if you've made a promise or commitment to be somewhere at a certain time to have a certain meeting, but this is a free meeting that I could have went to 
at my leisure. My point is I had no real obligation to be there. Could it have benefited me? Yes, but being a badass that I am, I decided to come home and eat with my woman. That being said, again, there are some asterisks, some things you cannot bow out of, like going to work every day if you work a normal nine to five job, or if you committed to do a charity event, you probably shouldn't cancel on that. However, you have to simply decide what is acceptable for you and what is not acceptable. For example, if your boss is always looking for someone to stay late and he always asks you, no bro, unless you truly want to do it, unless it's truly gonna further you towards your goals, if it's not something you want to do, just don't do it, all right? Obviously, again, again, there's exceptions to the rule, but use your best judgment. Now, that being said, if your boys want to go out drinking and you want to go, don't feel bad. You don't have to go. If a girl asks you to go out on a date and you don't want to go, say no. If someone asks you to do something you don't want to do, you can simply say no. Obviously, you got to be okay with the consequences, but badasses have already thought of the pros and cons of each situation and they can make a sound decision and say no when needed. So thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Sean. Each and every video I do try to make you the best version of you. If you need a little refresher, I'm gonna put everything right here. Five steps. Hopefully now you can be more of a badass, take better control of your life, and dominate. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Signing off.